Hallo, Inge. Hallo, Theo. Um, ik ben weer hier bij jou. Ik doe het wel in Nederlands. Yeah. En ik wil graag een... Een stoere kapsel. Een stoere kapsel. Een yeah. update van mijn eigen kapsel. Yeah. Ja. Wel rood. Ja. Yeah. Blijven houden. En verder. Uh, Inge wants an uh, update of her own hairstyle. She wants uh, stronger colors. Yeah. So we go for a nice, flamey, dark red. In combination with black. black. Inge, wil je een rondje draaien? She will turn around to show you how her current hairstyle is. I know for a lot of you it's still a wonderful hairstyle. But you can find this hairstyle also on YouTube. Just put in her name. And while you do that, please subscribe. Thank you all. The friends on YouTube, Inge is back to get a new fresh hairstyle and new fresh color. Now you already knew, noticed that I was working on uh, deep contrast. So on Inge I can really try deep contrast because we are also setting out lines to get to the black. And I'm gonna make a hairstyle that can be worn uh, black and red. So you can, I, I show you that afterwards because I start with different styles so you can see what I mean with that. So stay focused, start by wetting the hair, starting the cut. Now it's um, autumn in the Netherlands, so red colors are really nice because the sun doesn't influence the colors. Not going for ultra, ultra short on the sides because that's more springtime, summertime. So holding some length, so you can throw it over to the other side and then have other hairstyle. So you get more different shades into the colors and into the hairstyle. So I make it also that it's possible to wear on this side. So I start by laying that on this side so you can see the line where I get to work on. And it's also the guide for the other side. Can you talk more, eh? Yeah. Sounds good. The guide, for the, the other guide side. for the other side. Set up some glasses. Oh, it's ink. <laughs> Get myself a nice sharp scissor of Kiona. Lay the hairs to the side. Start in the center, knowing that in the center line there's the line to guide on. And set up my first guideline. And of course, it's on both sides disconnect. Pointing in the line of the chin line, take part of the under hair with it. And Inge has a little bit wavy hair. Mm -hmm. So maybe we would once make a curly version of her. All the lines on one baseline. And the baseline of the top is laying on the line of the ears. So I point my finger on the top of the ears, hold them in the line of the chin line. are very interesting when you use also a deep conditioner on color because reds go fast out of the hairs but when you take a deep red conditioner for example of glint it is a conditioner on the color it's really red you stay red for the whole time go over the same line to the back again When I get in the center, I get a cross control. So 
and now I get to the cross control in the center line, so I take the hairs over. And then off to the other side, lay them in the same rounding. And I control the center of the hairs. So on the skull bone, I have the volume, and here I take it off. Going to the longer side. Part has over the skull fall. Knowing that I did the hair on the other side. On the ear, leaves this part a little bit longer. Because I pull this to the front and lay it in a longer line. Connect to the line of cutting. Give it a slight graduation to the back, so it falls also a little bit to the back. But a nicer fall when you style the hairs, they go nicer into the flow of the skull lines. Think through that. <laughs> ja, ja, meneer de Uil. Maar brengen we ons net op. Ja, verhaaltje slant. Nee, waar zit het dan? Take the hairs over the center line. Lay them on the line of cutting. Soft point cut technique. Zo soft, dat ik niet voel. Nee, klopt. Ik heb een hele scherpe schaar. Nou, voel je het ook niet. So now you see the line of cutting laying on the hairs. So now I go to the front. First, I part a little bit away. The front I take to the back. Lay it on the line of the skull lines. So I get the total shape. Of her beautiful skull into my hairstyle. And for those who don't know where this hair comes from, it's all the hair that comes from the front of the ear, not from the back. Take a new line on it. Get rid of my clips. Take the hairs to the back again. Turn again into the line of the skull lines. Connect them to the front. Lay the hair back to the other side. Watch if I can make the hairstyle that I would like to make. And that's possible. So I go to the top, take only the center and get rid of it. So I'm certain that both sides are connecting to each other. And then I can go to the other hair. Lay the upper hair aside. See the line. So I lay this aside. Take only the hairs that comes from the fall of the skull. Part the tilicat on the center line of the back. Pin it aside. Now I want, don't want ultra short lines, so I do scissor over comb and I use some slice techniques. 
pushing the hairs in the opposite lines so I get a real nice soft line with a slight graduation. And so you don't see the skin afterwards. So this will be a lot stronger because when you see the skin shining through the hairs it's less dark of color. The side beards are leave also a little bit longer. The other hairs to the front. Get rid of the under hairs. And the upper hair, I use some soft slice techniques to soften the side beard and to give it a feminine effect. Klinkt goed, hè? Klinkt lekker. Ja. Yeah. <laughs> Using also some slice techniques and overflow from the shorter hair to the something longer hair. Bend the ear to down, tip of my sister. Ik moet ook nog alles letten hier. Holding my comb and scissor into the line of the eyebrow lines. It's the opposite line of the skull lines and the skull bone and the chin lines. Work till I get on the line of cutting in the center. Lifted my comb a bit on the contour line so I don't get a hard contour line, I get a soft contour line. So don't hold it flat on it. And see how wonderful the shapes of our skull are. When I don't get inspiration, I watch at ears. I really love ears. Slice the contour. And only get rid of the under hairs that are a bit weird because there are other hairs. <laughs> Go in with my tip in the opposite line, holding the line soft and feminine. Slight control because there's a crown in the underlines. Get rid of that. This grows the other way around. So that I take off. Then lay the hairs back. Then make the line beautiful. Yeah. Pas bij het vrouwtje. Coming on the center of the skull. Part in a straight line. Uh, ik even kijken op de... yeah. Yeah. Lifting up in almost a straight line. To the right I lift the comb up to the right. And to the left, of course to the left. Because she has a little bit wavy hair, there's also a little bit wave into the hair implant, so you have to watch where they go. And my comb is guiding me to the hairs that I want to cut off. Holding again the softness into the neckline. This by lifting up the comb and then set it a little bit up. So I hold a little bit more length in the under hairs. Tick tock. Now coming to the longer side. Coming to the left side. Lifting up with my scissor. And 
soften the lines. Go in the opposite lines of the hair fall. So you have to push it to the right side. Nou, dat is flink een goedje haar hoor. Dat is een flinke bos geworden. Nou, niet zo heel lang geleden. Het is fijn dat je haar zo hard groeit. In the meantime we talk Dutch to each other. Dutch. We're not Germans. For those who think we're Germans. Dat würde schon gehen, aber das hört sich ja ganz anders an. Bend ear to the front, go over contour line behind the ear. Get the tip, slice cutting over the contour, so I get the softness of the contour line. So don't make it a hard line. Also on this side is a slight crown area. Take that away with a small clipper. Now come to the front. Again, holding it softly, not too short. Only on the ear. I get rid of the longer hairs. When I watch through the hairs, I see a slight irritation on the skin in front of the ear, so I put a protection on that. With a nice protection of Lonza, skin protection. So even when persons don't react the most wonderful way on coloring, you can put this on. It's a protection shield. It doesn't do anything on the colors, but it protects the skin because here's a slight irritation. So I cover this part with that product. I'll show you that in the video. Turn a bit back. Get the small hairs on the ears. Slice cutting. In a freehand style. Go back to the other side. Not totally. <laughs> she wants to go home. <laughs> Mostly when you wait a little bit, the hairs go laying in the natural fall. So then you can correct them a bit. Free the upper hair again. Take the longest part on top and lay that aside. Watch to the line. I did the last time in the disconnect also. So I went a little bit more high up. I'll show you that in a second. Where this, take this on the line of cutting, right away to the back. And by graduating and parting like I do, in the line of the skull lines you get a nice soft flowing line. Gonna work with two colors, one is of kin and one is of rover hair. The darkest color is of kin, it's a real blackish black. And the rover hair color is a 5666, it's a devilish deep red. Both colors will be done with 20 volume. 
six percent. Feed up here on it. Watch on the line of cutting. For roundings of a skull, follow the lines, take them down with a soft point cut, correct the line. Mostly the part behind the ear is a bit different because it falls different. This comes because the hairs behind the ear go to the center line of the skull, so they move like that, and the front moves like that, so the line of parting is mostly in here. So that's why here is always a bit more hair. But that you find out the longer you become a hairdresser. <laughs> Go for the same line again. Watch it fall, and it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> it sounds good. The fall is wonderful. Also, on this side, set the upper hairs aside so I don't get a strong line. Get rid of the under hairs. When the color is done, I do this with a knife, of course. Now go to my protection for the skin. A barrier shield of Lanza. First I take off some small hairs because I don't need them into the barrier shield. Take part of the product. Spread this over my hands. Massage it into the sensitive parts. Yeah, there you go. Maak ik bescherm zal erbij. Zeker. Especially where the dark color is, I put this extra condition. Protection shield. Now clean this up and I'm gonna make our color. Okay, back for making the colors. Now I told you I'm gonna use a, a roof hair color. In the red colors, I put a photo of the product into the video right now. I lay a little bit of the red on the hairs, and into the colors, I always use step one of the glint line to reduce the damage on the hairs, but also to give the best condition afterwards and the best uh, result of. The product, so it takes out the hardness of the product. Then I go in with the darkest color. Take it a little bit into the reddish color. So I get a softer con contact line. Lay a foil on that. Then work all the black colors on the foil. So I have something to work on. <laughs> Take a small part of carton wick, lay it on the first part. And then flip over the red colors and lay them on the foil. And so do all the hair that I kept on the short side on the other side. Work till I get a little bit on the center of the skull. Because 
also want to get more creative with colors. I will work till I get here. Over this line. Bend it in the shape. Go over to my dark color. And fill in the rest with black. Sorry, the flesh is over here now. Yeah. Back to my foils. Make a nice overflow in the colors. This has to stay on the hairs for 25 minutes, then we rinse it out. Then we're going to style the hairs. So don't go away, because we'll certainly be back. Clou de contour. Sounds a bit France. Clou de contour. Close the full. I need to stoop it like this, here's more good. Yeah, yeah. Close the foil. Don't need heat. So. Don't go away. Hans Flats. Hello, back from uh, coloring. After 25 minutes, we rinse it out. Put in um, into the uh, conditioner afterwards a step to the cleanse line and show you the product if you like to so not I show you that also of the glint line step two of the glint line this is to seal the step one into the hairs haircuts you will certainly now let's start not on that haircut because we end with the style she normally wears so we start with uh, the opposite line Because this hairstyle you can wear in three hairstyles. For your red color. I like the other one. I like the other one. But I think the grens dik kan. Nee, dik. Ja, dat is gewoon leuk als je het kunt. Ja, dat snap ik. Dat vind ik ook. Maar zou het blijven zitten die kant op? Ja, wel. Zeker wel. Dan zit het vreemd wel. Ja, zij heeft vreemd wel. Daar gaat het wel om. Dan kom ik vaak bij jou om. Dit is de night version of haar hairstyle. Ik kan het style het totally en dan maak ik foto's van het, zodat je het kunt zien afterwards. The only thing I use now is a little bit uh, lancer oil, not too much because we have to restyle the hair also. The nice thing of the lancer oil is the nurses the hair that sexy, that it glows, it shines, gives power to the hairs. And it's nice. And it smells nice. So make photos of this hairstyle. Before I do that, I clean the contour with a knife. Get rid of the small hairs. It's not much, thank God for that. <laughs> so make photos of this. She will turn around to show you this effect. I go aside. Thank you. Okay, made also a little bit makeup on the photos. You will see that. So now I'm going to restyle the hair. So I moist it again.
Ik kan een beetje de bitboys. Je kunt zien dat ook zo. Battle brush is een product van Ego. En natuurlijk een blow dryer. I'm not going to tease you totally with the way I do this. Because the bit, I can show you that on the front. You take the hairs up, pull them in the way you like it, and let them cool down. So you get that wonderful feeling having a rocky bed included. <laughs> so every time go back to the line of blow drying. Twisting the brush around. That was in the film, the grillet. Take a large uh, comb with large teeth. A soft hairspray of Lanza. Don't finish it off with a hard spray because then I cannot restart the hair. The nice thing of a spray like this is that you can restart it over and over again. So you don't fix it, say the whole hairstyle and cannot do anything with it. This hairspray of Lanza. And like all products of Lanza, they smell really nice. So make photos of this hairstyle, she will turn around to show you that also. And then we come to, to the finished hairstyle. Don't go away yet. Ja, heel ander kopiëring. Ja. Ja, dat is ook wel grappig. Ja, leuk hè. Ik vind het wel heel leuk. Ja, dit is stoel hè. Ik heb met foto's op dit zijn staan. Ja. No one is zelf alleen. Now in lions never play to rub, but I'm there when I go on in. What chair? I come on my head. There's <laughs> <laughs> nothing there. Nobody at all. Brush out the hairspray. To do things like this, you can also use a conditional spray in the hairs. So when you have a hairspray or something into the hairs and you want to restyle it, you wet it and then put a little bit conditional spray in it. Makes it a lot easier to do. Spray. You can make this also yourself, of course. You take uh, mineral water, put a little bit of conditioner in, shake it well before you use it. And you have conditioner spray. Brush it through the hairs. And then we out of the hair. Boom, 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 boom. Heel veel rust, hè? Je kan het wel deze val. Ja. Have 
so far the hairstyle she normally wears. Brush it through with the Leave Your Garden brush. The nice thing of this brush is that it also polish the hairs. <laughs> I take a bit uh, of the golden oil of Lanza. I really love this after blow drying, not too much, just a little bit. Still have to use a little bit of the hairspray to fixate it. Can take the soft one. And to finish, I take the finish spray. And with this, I thank Inge for being my model and thank you for watching. She will turn around to show you the end result of our hair session. And we see each other in the next video. Bye bye. Inge, you may turn. Thank you very much. Yeah, Inge wants an uh, update of her own hairstyle. She wants uh, stronger colors. Yeah. So we go for a nice, flamey, dark red in combination with black. black. Inge, will you want to turn around? She will turn around to show you how her current hairstyle is. I know for a lot of you it's still a wonderful hairstyle. But you can find this hairstyle also on YouTube. Just mm -hmm. put in her name. And while you do that, please subscribe. Thank you all.